Today we're going to go ahead and show you what the pros use for their resolution settings. This can help you if you are already really good at the game and you have a decent to awesome computer. And let's go ahead and just jump right into it. We're going to go ahead and hit the three lines up here. And then we're going to go ahead and choose settings. It's the first screen that comes out. Don't go through and copy this because these are my settings. I personally have a really, really good computer, so I like to keep it pumped up. I like the extra shininess of the game. If you want to check out my computer or any of my equipment, I always have the links down below in every video. With that said, let's go ahead and show you what they run. Most people run this type of resolution. Once in a while, you'll find a handful of people running stretch resolution, but it's not that popular. And the ones that do run it usually end up changing their mind when they're streaming because people can't watch it very well when it's stretched. So view distance, you want to always keep as epic because you want to be able to see people as far away as possible. Next, we have shadows. We want to turn those off as that can draw you to something that is a shadow, not a person, and it could cause problems with your aim. Anti-aliasing, we'll leave this off as well. This is just how it makes stuff smooth, but you're not really going for graphics here, you're going for performance. Textures we're gonna put as low. That's gonna go ahead and be like the how objects appear, like the flatness of an object. Effects, we're gonna put that low. That's like your pickaxe glowing, things like that. So you're not gonna really have this in your view anymore which will make it easier to spot people. Post-processing will also put the low. This will make your game run smoother, but if you are having problems with these settings, post-processing is the first thing you wanna bump up to medium and then possibly to high. Once we have these, you wanna make sure V-Sync and Motion Blur are both turned off. You wanna go ahead and apply these settings and now you have the baseline of what the majority of pros use. This will make the game not look as shiny, but it will react very well and it'll make it a lot easier for you to make those decisions when fractions of a second count. I hope this video helped guys. If it did, make sure you smack that like and I will see you in the next one. Here's two other videos if you want to check them out. Smack out.